every day I receive literally hundreds of messages about whether it is possible to multiply a small amount several times. I know how much you love videos like these, but I want to tell you the truth. It can be very difficult to multiply a small amount, because in such videos we do not use long-term money management strategies. And our every new deal can lead to the loss of all capital. But I'm here to show that sometimes it's possible. A well-chosen strategy, a little luck, and we can multiply even the smallest amounts. In this video, I will show you an interesting strategy that you can use on a daily basis. Of course, necessarily using a money management strategy. After all, the trading in this video is done more for entertainment purposes, where I try to multiply a small amount for you. But still, you can use it in full-fledged long-term trading and be successful. Well, let's see what we can do. As we can see, we already have a small unique channel, but for this channel, we also need a moving average. Let's now move on to the basic settings from which we will build in the future. So, we have candles, a one-minute time frame, and we have a fractal and a moving average. The period you see on the screen and the styles are standard. For the moving average, we have the following period, the SMA line and the selected style green color. Next, we have a time frame. Expiration time is 3 minutes, and the balance that we will be accelerating is $5. So let's take a look right now and most likely open our first trade. And I'll just explain to you what's the essence of these trades. Okay, just a second. Yes, in principle, it will be possible to open the first trade here. Let's do this. So here is our trade. Now, at the opening of a new candle, we will jump into this trade for $5 for 3 minutes. Let's wait a little now so that I have time to open for the opening of a new candle. And then I will explain to you the essence of the strategy. So, we open up for 3 minutes. So, what's the point? We have a small channel. As we can see, this is the fractal that this channel draws for us. It is the moving average. We use the moving average as a helping tool. Using it, we look at where our price is approximately going. We need a fractal so that as soon as our price comes out of it in one direction down or up, we quickly open in the opposite direction, which is what I just did. Our price left this channel and I opened in the opposite direction, that is up for 3 minutes. Let us now wait for this trade to close and continue. By the way, the goal of this video is to increase our deposit by about $8,000. Let me get back to you as soon as this trade closes. So, we only have a few seconds left until our trade with you is closed. And yes, it closes with a plus on our balance $9.35. In principle, not much, but this is just our first trade that was successfully closed. Based on the first trade, of course, we cannot say that this is a good strategy. So, you and I will increase our deposit as much as possible so that we can make sure, like me and you, that this strategy really works. Let's now see what we have going on here. If there is nothing interesting, then we will move to another currency pair. But here, it seems there is simply a movement to the right that is a sideways movement. And there is nothing for you and me to catch here. And by the way, the fractal channel itself has begun to decrease. That is, the chance that our price will fly out is becoming greater, but the chance that the price will return is small. Let's go through the list and look at another currency pair on which we can confidently open. 
There is no, not here either. We missed this movement a little. Here is a great moment. It's only just started to come back. And as we can see, I basically even got in on time. That is, we had a sharp rise in price. It came out of this channel and now it will gradually go down for us. Let's wait now until this trade is closed and we will continue. We have literally 10 seconds left before closing. And we can see that, in principle, our entry point is not very good, not very confident. We had a moment when we had a trade in a negative value, but the price still went far. Our trade closed in positive territory, and our balance was almost $18. In principle, this transaction can be classified as a confident transaction because the price went far and we felt very comfortable. But this, naturally, is not our last trade for this video, although we have already made three trades. Let's now move on to searching for a new currency pair and, of course, we will think about where and how to open our trade. So, let's go through the list again and see where everything happens. This is a great moment. We immediately quickly fly in to catch this movement. Our price has left this fractal channel and is slowly returning back. We need a moving average. A moving average in order to make sure that we really have a price reversal and not a continuation of the fall at the moment. This acts as a helping tool for us. But for now, we only get to those moments when our price has already reversed. Therefore, for now, we have it, one might say, ballast. Well, I opened this girl, roughly speaking, for $18, and now we'll just wait for it to close. There are only a few seconds left before our trade is closed. And our trade will be closed quite confidently. Again, the entry point is not the best. We were in the minus for a little time, but still, our trade closes with a plus on our balance of $34. Of course, again, this is not the end. As we can see, the fractal, the channel, has increased, which contributes to greater price volatility. But as it seems to me again, we will have a lateral movement to the right. Therefore, most likely you and I will now move on to searching for another currency pair so that we don't have to wait long. Now, in principle, you can wait a couple of minutes and there is a chance that our price will fly up from this fractal. But I would rather find another currency pair. Here is a great moment, our price has just dropped. And let's now see what will happen here, because opening up right away is not the best option. But you always need to build on the circumstances. As we can see, I have now opened down due to the fact that we actually have a green candle. But the forces of sellers prevail, that is, the price is trying to go up but it is being strongly pressed down. As we can see, this is still happening. We can emphasize that we had a small spike. That is, the price flew out of this channel and returned to it. But as we can see, everything is going down well. Let us now wait with you for the closure of this trade. I think this is an ideal trade. The entry point was successful and we're in profit. The trade is closed and our balance is $66. The calmest trade in this video. The price is very far away and the chance that it will go up sharply was very small. Let's keep looking for new currency pairs for our next trades. So, the next trade will be here. Great point! We opened immediately for an increase. Why? 
the price has left this channel. Firstly, we have a good narrowing of this channel, which means it will move to another high, either lower or higher. Also pay attention to the other moving average. Ours is not directed downward at a very large degree. It floats up and down. This is exactly what shows us that it's time to open up. I open for 3 minutes for our entire balance. Let's wait for this trade to close. And as we can see, we have a confident trade again. The entry point was good, we were not in the red. The price didn't go as far as in the last trade and we formed a red candle that didn't reach our entry point and the trade was successfully closed. Our balance is $127. We have a good pace. We can say that this strategy is working, but we continue to move further towards our goal. Let's move on to searching for a new currency pair and open our trade there. Let's see. Here, the price flew out of this channel. Everything is absolutely the same. At the opening of a new candle, we open down for our entire balance for 3 minutes. We also pay attention to our channel, which has moved slightly upward along the lower border. This shows us its displacement. This means that we will form a new channel higher up. I'm opening our down trade. Let's wait for the trade to close. In a few seconds, our trade will close and, as we can see, this entry point was also successful. You and I were not in the red and the price has gone very far. This indicator tells us when we need to open. The trade closes in profit and $240 is on our balance. Let's continue. So, now I'm going short. Our price rose sharply, which is why the fractal also began to stretch. Because of this, we will have a decrease in our price. Our fractal has moved and the price needs to return to its channel. We also pay attention to the moving average, which is slowly starting to fall regardless of our candle. Let's wait for this trade to close. So, everything has been redrawn a little, the fractal has returned to the lower position, but our trade is closing in profit. $468 on our balance and not a very confident trade, because at the moment it lost its activity. Our candles began to move less, and we call this volatility. Our trade is closed in positive territory even though there were a lot of worries. We continue to look for a new currency pair to open our trades. Let's move on to search now. This is the perfect moment. We are flying into this car because the price has already begun to return to its channel. As we can see, our price has also left this channel. Our moving average shows that the strength of buyers prevails over the string of sellers, and I'm trying to open up at this moment. We have opened a new candle and our entry point is not the most confident, but there is a high probability that we will close in profit. Let's wait for the trade to close now. As I told you, the trade is closed in profit, the channel has moved down a little so that the price falls into it. We had a slight uptick, but the price still came back. The trade is closed and $899 is on our balance. I want to remind you that we started with just $5 and have already reached almost $1,000, where more interesting trades with higher risk begin. Let's continue. Let's look at the new currency pairs. We quickly entered this movement. The price slowly began to reverse 
and I managed to get into the last carriage. Our price took off and left this fractal, and the price is slowly starting to return. Let's wait for this trade to close. So, our trade confidently went into profit because our price fell down. Our balance is $1,726. Of course, this is not the end, but after this amount, interesting trades begin. As we can see, our price has returned to the channel and then it flows with the flow to the right. Let's see, maybe the price will go down but the chance is minimal, because there is a good support zone there. Still, the price goes much higher and we will look for a new currency pair with you. I like this coin, this currency pair. We are quickly getting into it. We had a small drop, but we see that our fractal from above has moved a little higher and we have the potential that this currency pair will grow. I opened two trades to increase for three minutes. Let's wait for the trade to close. So, our currency pair performed well and grew well. Our trade is closed and $3,314 is on our balance. We could end this video already, because this strategy has already proven itself well. But you and I have a goal and we must reach it. We will no longer remain on this currency pair. We are looking for a new currency pair. It's gone downhill here a lot. This doesn't work either. Here we have just begun a return movement. We quickly open our four trades. Three trades for $1,000 and four trades for the balance. The price began to reverse. Based on this, we open trades for our entire balance. Let's wait until it closes. So, there are seconds left until the trade closes. Trades were in the negative for a very long time, but still it returned to our channel and we closed in profit with six thousand dollars on our balance. Let's move on to finding a new trade. So, we will go through all the currency pairs again. We quickly enter here because we have already begun a reversal. I opened about seven trades. Six trades for one thousand dollars and seven trades for the balance. Let's wait for the trade to close in the same way. Everything is the same. Our price has left the channel and intends to return to it. And as we can see, we were in a slight minus, but still, our trades are closed in profit. Our balance is $12,861. This is just a super result. I believe that this strategy is working and we have achieved our goal. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like it! See you soon!